Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is session number two of our uh, invoice generation application. So in the uh, past session, we learned how we can create invoice numbers automatically and how we can save the invoice data into a SharePoint list. So I can just uh, revise it once more. So we created this invoice uh, gen uh, generation form where we have this uh, button which on click of this button this employee this uh, invoice number gets generated so this is how these impl uh, invoice numbers can can incrementally uh, get saved into SharePoint list and once a person clicks on this data then uh, this generate invoice then the data gets saved into SharePoint list so I can show you that so these are lists the data gets saved over here so now in this session as we are done with the form but when we say generate it should create one PDF and send out email to our customer so how to do that for that we would be using one power automate so I'll just go to the flow and in my flow I'll be creating one flow automated from blank so whenever um, one item is created in my this uh, invoice list then this flow should get triggered so I'm just creating this one and invoice uh, generate flow so now we have the trigger I'll, I just need to connect my SharePoint site and choose the right list which is invoice list alright so now in next step what I be uh, doing is I would initialize one variable so that I can capture the data and under this I will just name that as object list and I will make it of type object and under the value I would be choosing value as body so that I can extract all the details from this body field so in the next step I'll be just composing using compose function I'll be composing my HTML so that I can pass on the HTML uh, uh, to create one HTML file which in turn we are going to convert that into PDF so I'll be uh, showing you what that HTML would look like so now you can see so this would be my HTML is having just some styling and in the header I can have written it's a perform my invoice and in the variable so as I created that object list variable and I'll be extracting out all the values from here so by, by using this thing title so this will give me the invoice number and in the other TRTDs I can just uh, use the other variables so bill to address item 1 name item 2 name total cost and this purely HTML so you can uh, transform, you, transform your HTML just to uh, make including the logo or just to merge the columns so based on uh, your requirement you can uh, build your layout so for time being because I'm just going to construct this simple table so I'm copying this and going to back to my flow and under the expression I'm just pasting that out so this is how I can construct my HTML so in next step I would be creating one file and this file I'm going to let's say store on OneDrive you can do that in SharePoint as well so now I'm choosing uh, path the folder path I would be choosing just root one oops and just selecting root all right and in the file name I can specify my file name so let's say I can say that is uh, sales per sales invoice HTML and file content I'll be choosing the output which I got from my previous tab so 
So now this will create one HTML file under my OneDrive uh, folder. And, and in the next step, I'll just simply do convert file preview. So this connector we are going to use. And under this, where I would like to choose file from. So I can just simply say, I'll choose from my root. And under root uh, you would find if you have already have some file you will find that so uh, for this thing I, I actually created this uh, as a demo previously so I can see this file is there so you can simply type your own I mean like slash sales invoice HTML you can type that by your own so that's not a problem so now in the, we have created this file and I need to have the same file name so I'll just in correct it out sales invoice html okay so now this sales invoice html being created i'm reading out the sales invoice html and target type is pdf so this will convert this file to pdf so now once we got our pdf file the next step would be we have to send out email to our customer that your invoice is generated so i'll be using email send email v2 from outlook and under this i'll specify for the time being i'll just select my id and subject i can say invoice ready you can have the invoice number as well so from this thing you can pick the title so which would be actually invoice and under body you can simply say p half a please find attached invoice and show advanced because we would like to attach this PDF as an attachment so I can just have this file name selected from convert file action and the content from file content I can just uh, save it and I'll just uh, again use my this power app to create one new entry so I'll just uh, go to my power apps first of all I'll just publish this one so that I can run so I'm just going to play it out Alright, so I am just generating first of all this invoice number is blank. I am generating a new invoice number. Okay, I got it. And now I'll just add let's say it's a pencils. Item is pencil, cost is possibly one dollar and quantity is thousand. I'm just ordering stationery and note notebooks cost is two dollars and I'm ordering 500 so this is total cost and this for is billing to let's say some ABC company and when once I click on generate invoice so it will save my data into SharePoint so I got this data in SharePoint and as well as my flow should run so I just can check whether it ran or not so it ran successfully and ideally it should send out the email so I just opened email I got one this latest one and this is sales invoice I'll just open it out and now you can see it's billed to ABC company item number this this and total cost so it did not cover the total cost that means we must have mapped it with a wrong column but don't worry uh, we can just correct that out by putting the actual column value so it's having special characters that's why it's not uh, uh, extracting out that column value so we can just uh, simply change the column name or can just uh, fetch out the internal name of the column and uh, can can update it so in short uh, I mean, if we see it as an Antonin application 
this uh, the the invoice team who is responsible for generating invoices for customers they can simply use this power app to create one invoice and after creating that invoice gets saved into sharepoint and which in trigger creates one pdf and sends out email to the customers so there's your pdf and this amount is uh, payable to you so this is our end to end application you can build out of it so i hope uh, this entire demo is useful for you to build out a quick application uh, using this um, the functions which i explained you for example in the the batch update if the concatenation right left trimming out the strings and as well as uh, how to use the preview file preview connector to convert the html file into pdfs so i think that's it for this session thank you so much